Welcome to our review on addition polymers. First thing then is one of the most common things in your everyday life is actually the material of plastic. And plastics are polymers. The way that we make a polymer is by joining many monomer molecules together. And a good example of this is in polyethene. So that's the same stuff that you use in carrier bags. That is polyethene, which is a polymer made from many monomer molecules being joined together. When we consider the first type of polymer, we're looking at addition polymers. Now, in order to actually make an addition polymer, they undergo an addition reaction when they join together. And the reason that they can do this is because the monomers are alkenes, which means they've got that carbon-carbon double bond. Now, the reason they can join together is that double bond can become broken and therefore we've got the ability to join those carbons to others. In order to make this happen, we do need two special conditions. First one is a high pressure. Second one is a catalyst. So to carry out addition polymerization, we need high pressure and a catalyst as well as the alkene monomers. The next thing we need to be able to do is to actually work out either the name of the monomer when we're told the polymer name or to work out the polymer name when we're given the monomer. And this is actually far easier than I've just made it sound with that. So if they ask you to write down the name of the polymer, all you do is write down the monomer name, put brackets around it and stick the word poly in front. So if we have ethene, then ethene goes into brackets, put the word poly in front, polyethene. If it's chloroethene, chloroethene in brackets, poly goes in front of it. And the opposite is true when we're given the name of the polymer and they want you to say what the monomer is called. All you do, take away the poly, remove the brackets, and that gives you your monomer name. So if we had polypropene, then the monomer is propene. The last thing they could ask you to do with our addition polymers is to draw the displayed formula for it. So they would give you the displayed formula for potentially the monomer, which I've done on the left hand side there, and they'd ask you to draw the displayed formula for the polymer. Now this is actually relatively simple to do. We start off by copying the monomer with the exception of the double bond. So you change the double bond to a single. Once you've done that, you then draw square brackets around the whole thing. And then from those carbons at the end, you draw two lines sticking out the side, like a pair of little arms not holding onto anything. Last thing to do is put the letter N in the bottom right corner, because that just tells us that this is a repeating unit. So there's any number of them. If they were to give you the polymer on the right and ask you to draw the monomer, we do the reverse. You lose the N, you don't draw the square brackets, but you copy the bit in the middle, just remembering to lose the arm sticking out the side and change the bond in the middle to a double bond. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can describe the basic principles of addition polymerization. You can work out the structure of an addition polymer from its monomer, and you can work out the monomer from the structure of an addition polymer. That includes naming it and drawing the displayed formulas for them.